Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. And today it's Jorvaska Part Two. So Jorvaska is a building from the Elder Skulls Scrolls Skyrim. A friend of mine, Sam, recommended that I try build this because she likes the things I've built. She's seen a lot of the stuff that I've built for the tutorials. So in the first episode, we put the basic structure up for these pictures that are on the screen right now. So we built the skeleton. Now I've done about four hours of work in between then and now. So I'm going to give you a little tour of what we've done. So let's have a look. Ta -da! Right, well, quite a lot has happened here. So last time we had the roof, but we didn't have this. So I've First and foremost, this stone-like stuff here, I've put this all around the building. So a nice straight level here, like one, two, three, four in a row. Some steps here just to round it off. Then it around the corners, I've angled it like two, one, and then straight. So if you wanted to do this yourself, you would have to do it like this. Um, so the straight one obviously then you go like that and then one and then one so i've done that and so it has a bit of a curvature around the edges which gives it a nice quality that goes all the way around the building so i did that so i've also put these little wood things in there um because in the main picture they have these support beams but if i do them from up here it looks weird so i did them low down and then some of the wood has gone underground because if you put them connected to the stone it will come through into the interior of the building so put those up both sides it gives it a nice support style i've put these oh hang on i've put these little item stands on the wall and i've put banded shields on them so three on each side for symmetry and I've done four up on this thing as well. And I've put five, six lanterns either side. If this is the door. So to do this, I basically just knocked out parts of the roof here. And then I built, what did I build? I built a one wall. So one of these, one by one. That's all one by one. Then I use these nice big double doors. And then I just extended uh, some beams out here and here and across. Then with the 45 degree roof, which is this piece here, single shingle 45. And then we use the central 45 cross. And then the middle bit, which is that piece here. That's what I use for this. The shingle roof 45 so that's how i did that i just blocked it off at the other side because it's hard to have an exact matching roof that doesn't integrate into the building so i've put that that side so i think that's quite a nice entrance um i've put stairs down here because that's the curved stone this bit we did last time the uh dividers and some walls now i've replicated everything you've just seen on this side as well as you can see and the entrance again I've done the same because I was going to do a different entrance but it looked kind of nice layout wise so that's all exactly the same the only difference is the doorway I've gone for an open door because it's got a nice inviting nature I've used these wood wall 45 inverted to sort of frame the sides like and then just rotated it around like that We've got lanterns galore and it's just nice lighting. And then, so that's the exterior. The only other thing I did, I put this central roof thing on. So I used some wood beams, small wood beams there, then a full size one. And I put these 45 crosses on three of the roofs, another 45. And then I just boxed off the side a little and I just used uh, wood half walls and wood beams two meters to just box it and then that piece was one of them I think like a wood wall 
26 degree just to sort of frame it give it a bit of a angle and that is for the the chimney so that's the exterior so i would say outside looks quite nice uh pretty cool looking it's pretty swish pretty flashy so let's go to the main entrance shall we and let's have a look right i'm going to take my headlight off just so we can see it in its glory i'm going to have a little cheeky raspberry there so jaw vasca the entrance so i like these doors because they're just very uh they've just got a nice quality so i'm just going to open them out so we can get a clear view so what i did first things first i've obviously you can see how we've dropped down a level like it's half a level isn't it so we've dropped down half a wall size because it gives it a nice inviting like you walk in and it's lower so we've got stairs on all of the entrances as you can see and i've used little triangular sort of wall pieces and some pillars again lanterns up there this wall that we did last time i've duplicated at the other end exactly so it's the same um yeah, so what I did, I used my pickaxe and I dug down the whole interior two layers down. So equivalent of um, this. So that, once and twice on top of each other, I dug down all the way with a pickaxe. I put a stone foundation at the base and I built those stone things here just down. So the, the whole building has an underground exterior kind of stone wall to support it. Um, then obviously the fireplace we do have these fireplaces which are quite these look I'd say this fire right that looks more like the fire in Jorvaska but actually getting it to sit in the center here equally wasn't really possible I would have had to make the roof wider for the fire so what I did I just decided to have three campfires <clears throat> Two cooking pots, two cooking stations on each, one on each side. Um, bit of a spice rack for decoration. And then we just framed it with wood. And we use these dividers because it, what it does, it gives a nice sense of light to come through. It illuminates a bit of the room. You see this little shadow. But we can access the, the cooking pots. We can access the fires. We can put wood in there and yeah i just thought it was a nice feature and all the smoke goes up and no one's choking to death i also added these is a jute rugs i think they're called jute rugs red jute carpet so i decided just to do them entrances bang you walk in it's like a greeting and it's on all of the entrances leading up to the fireplace because that's the hub the fireplace is the sort of center point of the build because everyone's coming here for dinner right so I've put these two long tables a vent obviously I've used wood floors as well um, the Jorvaska has stone floors but to put stone floors here means I'd have to put support underneath which would make the basement very sort of difficult to manage space wise so I put um, wood because I thought it was better I also like how the sunlight comes in with these dividers gives a nice sort of uh, church like quality but yeah I'm gonna fill this up with food and put chairs around it this is gonna make two dining tables and here I might do another dining table here I don't know yet I haven't decided so this is kind of question mark so that's the interior I think it's a nice little start nice light from the campfire we've got lanterns on every door so it's moody but it's got enough light so that we can you know at least see what's happening what does it actually look at night time let's have a look time of day 1.0 okay night time it's quite dark so i think i might need to put some more lanterns probably around these points i haven't really decided that yet but this center point's good but yeah we definitely need some more light because it's quite gloomy um i don't know how we're going to do the light i don't want any smoke so anyway let's put the time of day back to midday okay 
Right, the only other thing that I've done, obviously I said I dug down. So what did I do? Well, downstairs, my friend said that they had a bedroom scenario in this downstairs. So I've made this little, nice little staircase. You can see here the stone foundation that I've built. Okay, so we're down here. So this, these three bits here are where the fireplace is supported. I can just show you that. You can see that's a stone foundation, so we'll put that back. Um, so around the entire side, I've built like lanterns all on the lower bit that are almost sunken into the ground. So they're like floor lighting, right? So yeah, obviously in between all the stones, I put the lanterns, I put these dividers here, and then I put a beam and half walls just to block it off. The reason I did this is because I wanted to light it. And I, if I put wood, like I'll show you the problem. Like if you put this on the wall, what's the problem here? Well, let me put my light on. The stone's coming through. So that looks ugly as shit, doesn't it? We don't want that. So that's why I've built this sort of half extension out and I've used it for lighting and decoration. It looks very elegant, very nice. Okay, so we've got a bit of storage, decoration with a bit of a swamp key there. But I thought this room could be a nice little work room because obviously upstairs is dinner and drinks. Here, we've got a nice little carpeted alcove area for a nice little workbench. And we've also got a little tucked away forge here with a lantern in the corner two lanterns here we could put some more stuff here if we want we could use um we could put storage chests up here if we wanted or um little stands to put objects but it's a nice little cubby hole work room so we put that there and if you look around here, there's a nice little corridor. I haven't really decided. We might put up here uh, item stands. But as you can see, all the way around, we've got these decorative binders with the lanterns. So it creates a nice sense of light. If I take my headlamp off, you can see it's very bright down here. Now these walls. Now I've used these all the way around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, all across. Then I use these beams all the way up. And again there, I did this so I could put all these wood beams in like a crisscross scenario and then put glass in the middle. So we've got these little windows all the way around. But what's in the window? So you can't really see in there much, can you? Because of the light. So it's kind of private. But we've got this, a wood gate. We've got a wood gate here. And a wood gate here okay open the gate go in it's going to do both gates the gates meet up in a symmetry which is kind of cool when you open them this still keeps some privacy but as you can see we've got windows and we've got some nice locks rugs we've got a couple of lanterns a bit of a black uh hanging pattern um place for your drink a bit of a snack turnip stew we've got a personal chest an item space so it's a very nice small snug little bedroom a bit of privacy a bit of lighting very moody where the viking will you know entertain so if we close the gates oh there's another light so if you want more lighting there you go and if you want to come out you come out so that's it so far so i've done about four hours to do this which is obviously pretty intensive so it's not finished but i'd say so far it looks pretty good um the questions are we need to do the dining table so what sort of chairs should we use we don't want to use thrones because they're just a bit big aren't they they're a bit over the top they take over a bit too much so i think we could just use these basic sort of chairs so let's put one at the end just test out 
do it closer, I think. Let's put it very close. Be snug, snug fit. Okay, there you go. That's one. It's a bit too close, actually. Okay, put one there. We'll do the other end. So there, we'll put one over here as well, just so we get these equal. And another one at the end. So we've got the head of the table sorted. So we need chairs all round here, don't we? So we want, how many do we want? This is a good question. I think we'll have one. One here. That's four. Five, is that enough? I think five's good. And then we'll just go again on this side. Um, one, two, three, four. And five. We could always put more if you wanted to have loads more, but I think that's enough. Plenty of chairs. Enough for 12 Vikings there, and we'll do them on this side as well. So again, we'll have one there, one, one, and that's the last one. So, a bit snug that chair, these ones. I think maybe we'll have to put these back a bit. We don't want to be like overlapping the table too much, so eh? just give the, give the Vikings a bit of space, a bit of room. And one more there. Okay, that's a bit better. So those are the dining tables. So can we put like a table mat on it? This is a question. We could we could use these to put like as a centerpiece perhaps. What do you think? What else have we got? We've got blue, too big, too big, too big. They're all too big. So we could use that maybe as a, a center. It, perhaps Does that look good what would we have on the centerpiece so okay we need to put sound some item stand so let's put an item stand on bang center both of these what could we put in the center that's going to be a nice sort of centerpiece what can we craft we could put like food, I guess, couldn't we? Is there something we could use that would be very nice, sort of atmospheric? Put a big fish on there, couldn't you, I suppose? Um, what about mead bases? No. Let's craft some meat sauce anyway. Craft a couple of these just to have. Um, what else? Let's have an onion soup. Grab one of those. Salad. Let's have a couple of salads. Oh, we've got loads. Sausages. Got to have some sausages. Serpent stew. Yep. Who doesn't love that? Let's get some serpent stew in there. What can we put in the centerpiece? Muck, muck shake. Let's get a couple of muck shakes in there. Um, what about the dead razor? That's like a glowing skull, isn't it? Why don't we put that on the table just to freak people out? Right, we need loads of tankards. Jeez, we need a lot of these. We could have a horn of celebration in the middle, couldn't we, I suppose? 
Turnip stew. Let's get a few turnip stews. And porridge. Yeah, let's have a bit of porridge. Chuck a couple of these in there. Right, let's try this. What's this going to look like? That's kind of cool, isn't it? It's a bit over the top. But let's put the, we're going to put this in there for now. We could always change that. But there you go. Right, so we need to put loads of item stands on here, don't we? So we need, I don't know, how are we going to do this? Let's just put a couple here. And then we'll put food all the way down the middle, so one there let's try and give them space because some of the meals are quite big um okay so we need three one two three and then two over here so i guess we could put a, a mug there let's get the other mugs so one mug there and we'll have a mug over here and what about meat sauce? Let's have a meat sauce there. Serpent stew, let's have one of them. Where should we put that? We'll put that on there. Sausages, yep, got to be done. We'll have a sausage there. Or oh, actually, we'll have them at the end. I think I'm going to eat one of them. Nice. That look good. Okay. Um, salad. Let's put a salad in. Where's the salad? Put a salad there. And porridge. What about porridge? Where can we put this? Is it going to fit? Yeah, it fits nice. Porridge in the middle. All right, that's nice. Okay, let's put some more item stands next to all of the Vikings. So they've all got a drink. So... One there for each Viking. Um, so it's a bit snug, isn't it? This okay, one here. Can't have any thirsty Vikings. We're gonna have to put mead in here as well. So how are we gonna do that? I I haven't brewed any mead. I need to do that. Or I, can I spawn it in? I probably can. But um, anyway, let's have a drink. We'll have a drink there. Okay, I need to craft tankards. I need plenty of tankards, don't I? How many have we got? Okay, I'm running out of inventory space. Let's put two more item stands in the middle next to the skeleton. And we're going to put a horn of celebration in there. See what that looks like. One. Two. Uh, no, don't really like them there, do I? Let's mix up the horn of celebration. Let's chuck, chuck one over here. These are for special Vikings who have uh, had a good day's work. Okay, let's put a couple more in. This is just basic decoration, really. Like, this is obviously quite excessive. But... I know people play this online with large groups, so you know it's you want to have somewhere that you can kind of have a nice feast at the end of the day, don't you? We need two more cups. Okay, let's get two more tankards. Okay, we're gonna have one there. And oh, we need a three, don't we? I mean. Actually, let's put a muck shake there. Let's have a muck shake there. Have we got any small food? What about wolf jerky? There you go, that's small. We can use some of that. Put wolf jerky in there. In the centerpiece. Have some wolf jerky, lads. All right. Well, I still feel there's room for more food because... Vikings, it's a hard day killing loads of skeletons. Let's put one here. And we'll put... What's this? 
Let's chuck that there. Salad, onion soup. Nice. Turnip stew. Where can we put turnip stew? Let's have a turnip stew over here. Put that in there. So, I mean, this is just like frivolous elements of the build, but you know what? It's it's nice to just decorate it with some, some stuff because it gives it character. So, let's put one more. All right, so I've dressed. That's kind of one table nicely dressed, but it's... Let's change the time of day to midnight. It's very dark, isn't it? So, we, this is too dark. How do we light this in a way that's not going to be silly? Um, okay, can we get a lantern here to lock? The problem with this bit is... These walls don't seem to have lock points. I guess I could put one there, but it, I don't know. It's going to be a bit weird, isn't it? It's too low. I feel like the lantern needs to be higher up. If I put it there, it blocks out the window and it looks... Do you know what I mean? Like it's too low. It's going to get hit someone in the head. So that, that ain't going to work. I guess you could do low lights, but then again, that's going to get in the way. I mean, there are these other things, pump, jack turnips. But they're like Halloween, aren't they? So, don't really want to use them. Is there any way, like maybe we could do some sort of overhanging element using perhaps these beams? I don't know, could we do that? Let's try something out. No, I don't think that's going to work. This is um, a conundrum. A slight conundrum because there's not a lot of wall space. I feel like... What about a central beam? Can I attach some sort of central beam here? Maybe I can. I'm going to change the time. No, let's, let's leave the time of day. Can I attach a lantern to that? No. But you could, like, protect... That's better, isn't it? Look, already. But the issue... The issue is it looks fucking ugly, doesn't it? So, what if we do that there? And then we build a cross. Oh dear, this is not... It's just not quite working, is it? It's... I, I think there it works. It's just, how can I create something? Let's change the time of day because I literally can't see anything. So, let's have a look. So, right, I need... Oh, shit. There goes the roof. Okay, get the roof back in. Oh, no. Okay. So I guess if we could attach it to the ceiling. Can we do that? Does that support it? I don't know if that supports it or not. But let's try. We could always... Let's get rid of the lantern. Will it stay now? It will. And it is kind of covered. The question is, is this really going to hold without having to put pillars across? We'd have to put like a downward support beam, wouldn't we? Because that's going to... That's not going to hold, is it? 
it might hold if it's attached to the ceiling. Let's see. Will this hold all the way through? This could be good. And then I guess we could finish it with an arched one upwards. And then just what? Like that? That's horrible. What about if we use the, the very... That sticks out of the roof. It's not like massively noticeable though, but... Don't really like it, if I'm honest. What about if we sort of angle it? Let's go like that. Does that work? Could do that, couldn't we? I can see what I'm doing. I mean, not really, does it? It doesn't really. I'm not. I'm not feeling it. Could do it like that, couldn't you? To you can't. So like, so like for example, we walk in, we don't necessarily see that, do we? So that kind of, kind of, does that work? Perhaps. What if we put two there? Will it come through the other side? Please don't come through the other side. Ah, it came through. It came through. Well, this is tricky. Well, on the plus side, if we put these all along. In theory, this should hold. And then we could probably put more beams here. I don't know, is this overkill? All just for some bloody lanterns, really. Don't like these these ones. These are ugly. So we're getting rid of them. And we're going to just... Let's just stick the lanterns in and see if... Well, that didn't work, did it? Oh, fuck this. Nah, fuck it. We're going to do some other type of lighting because this is bullshit. Bullshit. Done. Okay. Right. Oh, what a disaster that was. Anyway, that was crap. What a waste of time. Why is it not locking? It should lock there. What about if I use crosses? Can I use a cross? What if I do that? And then I try a lantern. Still way too low, isn't it? Uh, anyway, alright, so... Jesus, I've got so much crap. Well, I think what we've done, I'm going to have a think about the lanterns. But yeah, so today I've just given you a bit of a tour of what we've done. So it's a nice looking build so far. I think the tables look good. I think that's kind of nice, isn't it? Got all the grub, got all the booze. We'll replicate it there. And I need to come out with a nighttime lighting arrangement. I, do you know what I could I could get rid of some of the floor which sounds bizarre but it might let light come up through the floor because downstairs is quite light but that's going to be that's a bit complicated I'm not sure how that's going to work but okay so I'll duplicate this over here I need to figure out some kind of lighting arrangement and then maybe I don't know what's going to go here. This could be beer, couldn't it? This would be maybe where the mead. Let's see what the mead looks like over here. Let's have a fermenter. Let's have one. One there. 
two. I would have one in the corner. Put it at an angle. I don't know if I want that at an angle. It looks weird, doesn't it? Like, they're either all the same or not. So, okay, I think... Let's put some mead in there brewing as well while we can. What should we put in there? Anything, whatever. Tasty, let's have that one. And we'll just put one more in. All right, we've got the beer there. I'm not sure I like it when it's colors because it just, it, it draws your attention away from the build too much. So, well, we'll brew these and then we'll use these when they're brewed on the table here. So we'll have a beer table. This is the more foodies. This is for the alcoholics. Um, We'll leave the kegs here, but we won't have them brewing because I don't like, it's too like bright. And then, I don't know, we could have a table or two. We could have like mead all on tables. So we could come over here, grab our mead. And downstairs, I need to do some sort of decorati decorative stuff. But I'd say it's looking pretty good. What do you think? Obviously it's inspired by Jorvaska. It's not Jorvaska identical, but I think it's looking quite sharp. I mean, I'd live there. <laughs> Better than my first house. So, yeah. That is episode two of uh, the attempt to create Jorvaska. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. I'm going to eat some. Why not? And there you go. So, part two. Let's change this. Part three. In part three, what will I do? Well, I'm going to do some decoration on the tables and then we'll come back tomorrow and I'll start work on some other bits. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope this has given you some ideas. What do you think about the style of it? Obviously, it's not perfect, but I think it captures something. Let me know in the comments and I'll be back with the next episode soon. So thank you and goodbye.